hello and welcome back to my channel thank you very much for watching my name is Sean. there are loads of different helpful videos on this channel i'm sure you'll find something that you like so please subscribe okay so last month or a few weeks ago i gave you what i love about running the bnb so this time it is what i hate about running a bnb if you want to check out the previous video have a look here it's just linked there for you or maybe here i can never remember which way to point so have a look and see what I love about running the B&B. Right, let's get into the nitty gritty and tell you what I hate about running the B&B. The first thing are the substances or things which are left behind by guests. Be that like makeup all over towels or poo on the sheets of the bed or wetting a mattress as a grown adult. Um, there's been a lot of things that I haven't enjoyed discovering when I go into a room. Just things like that, which just kind of unexpected things that are a bit gross. Um, I really don't enjoy those. <laughs> the second thing that I don't particularly enjoy is cleaning. And that's purely because I don't enjoy it. I mean, I'm sure some people do enjoy cleaning, but I don't particularly like Hoovering, dusting, scrubbing, yeah, cleaning the toilet. I don't really enjoy any of that. I don't get any pleasure from it. Um, obviously I do it and I do it to a high standard because I want our guests to appreciate that everything has been cleaned. But I don't particularly enjoy that side of it. The next thing, and I told you I would say the complete opposite to something I said in the first video, we're completely tied to the B&B. In season, which is from kind of March till October and then again in December so kind of two three months off in season we're tied to this place during the weekends and during school holidays and that's really hard when you have young children so it means there's no kind of school holidays where we all go away for a week or two weeks because if you do that when your business depends on the kind of those kind of times of the year then your holiday ends up being a very very costly holiday so it's not just the price of the holiday it's also the earnings you will lose during that two week period so the cost of your holiday goes up considerably and it's just not worth it really so that is really hard and i find the same with being tied at weekends in that you know we can't go out and enjoy stuff necessarily because we're waiting in for guests and i find that hard and Although the B&B gives me the flexibility to be here for the children during the week, to be able to pick them up from school, drop them off. During the week in the summer holidays, I might have guests five nights out of seven and they just kind of have to fit in around that, which I find really hard and sometimes feel very guilty about. But I'm sure if I had a full-time job where I went out, I would also feel guilty about it. So, not a lot I can do. Another thing I hate or don't particularly enjoy about running a B&B are rude guests. Now this, these don't happen often. We don't get many people who are rude. We get some people who really expect to be kind of waited on. And sometimes I feel quite uncomfortable when I'm kind of kneeling, like tending to the fire because, you know, they believe that's my job and they can't put a log on the fire. I, I'm not so sure. Sometimes it feels a bit like you're a servant when you have people here and I'm not sure that's quite the right way that it should feel. But you know, it's not, it doesn't happen often, it really doesn't. And most of our guests are absolutely lovely and I just love meeting them. But sometimes you get people who are rude. And that brings me on to the next thing, which is negative or mean or unfair TripAdvisor comments, which aren't constructively criticizing the place. They're just being mean for being mean sake. And if they'd have told us some of the things when they were here, we would have changed them straight away. Um, we've only had two since we've been here. The first one floored me because I'd been nice to this person the whole time they were here. I bent over backwards, kept going and getting things for them. And they just basically slated the place and me and it was awful and it took me six months to come up with a response to her that wasn't just like Ugh! because that's what you want to do but obviously you can't be mean about this person and you can't do what they're doing which is not being constructive so I simply had to kind of respond in a way that future guests might read and say okay she clearly you know, was being a bit unfair. 
and the second one I knew we would get um, it didn't hurt as much but it still hurt and I think what people maybe need to sit down and think about before they write that review is that this is someone's livelihood that you're kind of reviewing. Just one bad TripAdvisor review can push you down the ranking so far that you don't even show up when people search for bed and breakfasts in your area, even though like the rest of your reviews are amazing. So it's just really hard when you get those comments to kind of bounce back and obviously you can't please everyone and that's absolutely fine but it, it just hurts sometimes and I'm not very good at that basically. And the final thing that I dislike or find really hard is no shows when people literally just don't show up and it happened not so long ago we kept calling them and they'd paid a deposit and they just didn't turn up. We waited up till like 11 o'clock midnight and I just had to like write it off basically but it was really frustrating because it was for one night at a bank holiday and I could have filled the whole place like three times over for four nights um, so yeah sometimes things like that are really really difficult but again there's not a lot that you can do about it and I guess something else that annoys me is people arriving really late so a few weeks ago we had people arrive at half 11 at night and when you've got young children and you've been up at say half six to do breakfast for the guests who were leaving that day to then have to stay up that late just to kind of greet people and be nice and all this stuff is actually quite draining but obviously it's my job um, and I do enjoy doing this job and I love that this job gives us the kind of lifestyle that it does because we couldn't afford to live in a house like this ever and or even live in the village that we're living in we couldn't afford to move here from where we used to live. So if it wasn't for the B&B, we wouldn't be doing this. So there are so, so many positives, um, but yeah, there's obviously a few negatives too. I'm gonna leave a link somewhere around here to a playlist of my other B&B stuff if you wanna go check that out. If you wanna ask any questions, then please just ask them in the comments below and I will answer them. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to, please subscribe and I will see you again soon. All right, bye.